Hello friends, in today's short video, we will be discussing about percentage free PSA, a marker of prostatic health. Let us first see what is PSA, prostate specific antigen. It is a glycoprotein secreted by the epithelial cells of the prostate gland and it is secreted into the seminal fluid to liquefy the semen, thus facilitating sperm motility. PSA is present in small amounts in blood also and that is why its levels can be measured through the PSA blood test which acts as a marker for prostate health. And PSA is increased in following conditions. Number one, and large prostate which is benign in nature seen most commonly in the elderly people. Prostatitis that is inflammation of the prostate, prostate cancer and due to recent ejaculation, digital rectal examination and bicycle riding. After having a brief introduction about the prostate specific antigen, let's discuss what is percentage free PSA. We know that PSA exists in the blood in two forms. One is the unbound form which is known as free PSA. Another is the bound form that is known as complex PSA bound to the proteins. And some of both these fractions gives the total PSA values. And what is this percentage free PSA? It is the proportion of free prostate specific antigen to the total prostate specific antigen in the blood. And how it is calculated? It is calculated by dividing the free PSA levels by the total PSA levels into 100. And why we require this free PSA or what is its clinical significance? It helps differentiate between benign prostate conditions like BPH and prostate cancer, especially in those individuals who have PSA levels borderline that is between 4 to 10 nanograms per ml. A higher percent free PSA is more likely associated with benign conditions like BPH while a lower percent free PSA suggests a more likelihood of prostate cancer leading to further diagnostic tests like prostate biopsy. So this helps avoid unnecessary biopsies in patients who are in the gray zone. And how to interpret the results? If the values are more than 25%, we say the low risk of prostate cancer is there. If it is in between 10 to 25%, there is intermediate risk, further testing is required. And if it is less than 10%, there is a very high risk of prostate cancer. In these individuals, we should go for prostatic biopsy. So this is all about percent free PSA. Thanks for watching.